happening right now an all out assault against ISIS to take back the city of Mosul. You're looking live right now. There are live pictures coming into our newsroom outside of Iraq's second largest city. The battle is in a pivotal move right now to try to take back the center of this caliphate from ISIS. Benjamin Hall is live in London with the breaking details that were unfolding overnight. Good morning, Benjamin. Yeah, good morning, Clayton. This is a hugely significant battle. This is the largest military operation in Iraq since U.S. troops pulled out in 2011. The main aim is really to obliterate ISIS as a conventional force, not only in Mosul, but across Iraq. It began early this morning as Kurdish Peshmerga fighters and Iraqi troops began to push into the surrounding villages. The U.S.-led coalition has been bombing the city for some months now, softening targets, but there's only so much that could be done from the air. Mosul itself is the largest city the terror group holds, and they've held it for over two years since launching a surprise attack from across in neighboring Syria. It is considered the jewel in their crown. Now, ground forces will move into the city over the coming days and weeks with significant support from the U.S., including special forces in, quote, advisory roles. But ISIS have crisscrossed that city with tunnels and covered it with IEDs. And the remaining three or 4,000 ISIS fighters are expected to put up fierce resistance. The UN, meanwhile, have said that they fear a humanitarian disaster. They estimate that over a million civilians are left in the city and 700,000 are expected to flee. The Iraqi army has, in fact, been dropping flyers, urging people to stay in their homes. But the real battle doesn't just come with the liberation of the city, it comes afterwards. And with all the different groups trying to take it, from Shia militias to Sunni, uh, Turkmen, Kurds, the long-term peace there is what's going to be harder to hold. Back to you. All right. Benjamin, live for us this morning in London. Thanks, Benjamin.